So in this video, I'm going to show you some of 24 k John uh, effect or text effect. So for this text, so I'm going to show you how to create this type of 3D texture text without using Element 3D. All we have to do is just create a test. So we have our test here. Uh, you type your tests individually and now you convert it to 3d and we're going to animate them so i'll go for the y go to the test properties just make a keyframe so just make a keyframe move it to where you want the animation to end and just put it here like this and now just play with the position of your test increase the scale and i'll position it to this side and i'll rotate this so go to your x rotation you can rotate it on your x rotation or you go to your z rotation and you rotate it like this so at the end you are getting something like this all you have to do is just select your keyframe make a, a graph like this so go to your speed graph and you can make a graph like this and if you play this you can see we have this type of animation and you can go to animate and also add skill and go to your skill and just skill this like this go to your tool here and let's create a max so just highlight this and create a max just like so and all we have to do is just go to inverted let's click on this and now at the end we are getting something like this so we are done with animation for the y now let's go to the the middle one for the O, I'm actually going to divide this. So I'm going to create two max. So one, and I'll duplicate the O again. Control D, and I'll go to the max, and just go to invert. So now we have two of this, and now all we have to do is just create animation. So for the first one, and let's make a keyframe, another keyframe for the second part, and we're just going to move all of them to where we want the animation to end and let's start playing with the values here so for the skill let's go for this so i'll go for this here and i'll go to position now move it like this go to z rotation go for rotation like this so second test let's move it to so let's move it let's move it to this side here so i'm going to move this one up so if i go to my graph so just make a graph like this and let's play this and you can see we have some cool animation all we have to do now is just add a texture to this just pre-compose them so right click go to new solid use any color just add your fractal noise to this so you can choose any one of these you can choose any one of these but i'll go for something like the cloudy and i'll go to invert and i'll go to contrast and now increase the brightness and we can add caves now add tritone with the tritone you can choose the color you prefer so if you want this type of color just go for this if you want this just go for that and you can still adjust your your caves select your track mat and track mat it to the test highlight all your tests recompose them add bevel and in balls duplicate the test ctrl d with the move to move it down just like this now add curves bring it down like this here like so and now pre-compose uh, both of them and now add shadow you can add drop shadow so drop shadow you can use the after effects default shadow or your bcc shadow or sapphire shadow but how we using shadow 3 studio so now just add our deep glow so if you're having the normal glow you can use it if you're having the deep glow version 2 you can also use the deep glow version 2 now let's go to tint and go for mono and select this tint here you can also change the color if you wish you want to change the color you can you can do that just go to your exposure and just drop it down like 0 0.30 then at the end let's play our animation so if you want to change the color go into the comp go to the comp here and just go to tint and just let's go for the blue one like this hit on ok go to your main comp and just go to your tint on the deep glow and choose the color you desire so actually this is how to create this type of uh, 3d test without element 3d 
So I'm going to show you how he made this title or this test dragged to the ground and I'm going to show you how to do this. So with this, uh, I'll be using this clip here and all you have to do now is just add the after effect 3d camera tracker uh, you can also use mocha pro if you're having a mocha pro plugin you can actually use this to also track the floor all i have to do is just add my my 3d tracker and it's going to analyze if you want this to speed up make sure your quality is on quarter or if you put it on four it's going to take a little bit that's my observation all you have to do is just increase the size of our track Point, the target size you can increase so that you can see the the track points so now go to your details analysis and make sure you check this and so that you give you the best uh, track so okay we are done tracking and if you click on your 3d camera tracker so if you click away you're not going to see the points so if you just click on your 3d tracker you are going to see the points so all we have to do is just go through and look through some of the points where the points where it was stuck there without moving so you can see this point here actually doesn't move it's still there so let me go through and let me show you so look at this point here and if we scrub through the point still remains there and that's a good track point we want so all we have to do is just select that and right click right click and go to set ground plane origin and now right click again and go to create null and camera uh, if you scrub through now you can see our null is tracked to the ground there and all we have to do is just add our test so with this i'm going to create a new comp so i'll go to my project create a new comp and in my comp i'll just add some test there so now let's go to our main comp here and all we have to do now is just let's put it to full all we have to do is just drop the comp we just created for the test so this is the comp comp 2 let's drop it there and now all we have to do is just turn it to 3d so now let's move it so you can see now this is actually tracked to our ground here and all we have to do is just parent our so hit select the pick whip and just bring this to our track data so that it stays on the ground so now you can see it's moving with the ground here all we can do is just add a wipe so bcc wipe so now make a keyframe for the percent down set it to 100 and moving time set it to zero uh, if you play this you can see we actually have this drag to our law here let me show you how to use mocha pro to do this add your mocha pro if you have a mocha ae you can use it if you're having the mocha pro 2 you can also use this just click on this if you have this interface here you can just go back to essentials mine two over here uh, i've done a lot a whole lot of video on how to track and add so you guys already know so just make some points so i will just click here and with this i will add this one to just make sure you place them behind the shape you created just select this two and make sure you align them so align them just like this uh so you make sure you turn on the perspective and let's track backwards so uh, we are done just uh, hit on save click on save and just close mocha go to tracking data and make sure you create on uh, create track data and it's going to give you some points here so these are the, uh, the tracking data so all we have to do now is just create a new null and we'll call it data and what we have to do now is just go to our mocha and just go to export option so i'll just go for transform and i'll select my you know that's the data and effect a mass and just click on apply if you go to our data you can see we have the null track to the surface and this is what we want our null has the data over there create any text so if i create some text like this and i just convert it to 3d so all we have to do is just parent our text to our data here and if you play through let's see what we have you can see now uh, our test is tracked to the surface and from here you can just 
add any effect we want we can add our drop shadow so with this we can add shadow to this and we can also add uh texture to our text and so this is how you can actually track uh you saw in the video how the text was tracked to the floor and this is actually easy to do you can use the after effect 3d camera or you can use mocha pro so with this i hope you guys learned one or two from this video so make sure if you are new here you subscribe to my channel if you are old here you know what to do give me a like give me a comment and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial peace